Hey guys, so today I have a tutorial for you. Uh, I did it on the look that is on my face right now, and it is my version of like a bronzed summer look. Obviously, I am super, super fair, especially since it is the beginning of summer and I haven't quite gotten whatever little bit of color I will get by the end of the summer. Um, but this is just kind of my go-to summer look. It is bronze and my lip gloss is all weird, sorry. It is bronzed and just um, pretty simple and um, I just feel very summery. Uh, so I'm really liking it and I hope you guys like it too and I hope you keep watching so you can figure out how to do it and thanks for spending a little time with me today and I hope I spread a little sparkle into your day and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! Alright, so I am starting with Max Pro Longwear Concealer, as I always do to prime my eyes for my eyeshadow. I'm just going to take my Beauty Blender and blend that out, because it's a little quicker than my finger. My finger puts it on there better, but the Beauty Blender's faster, so it wins. Now I'm taking Max Painterly, or yes, Max Painter, Paint Pot in Painterly. Now I'm taking my MAC 217 brush, and I'm going to use my Naked Palette in this color Buck, and just swipe that through the crease. I feel like I went cross-eyed like so many times in this video, so I just exaggerated it. Now I'm going to take Half Baked out of the Naked Palette and put that all over my lid from crease to lash line. This is that gorgeous golden goddess color that I was using as my main color. Now I'm taking this crease brush and the color Buck and just swiping that through the crease to deepen it a little and then I'm using the color Dark Side to intensify the outer V on my eye. Now I'm taking my MAC 217 and just a little bit more of the Naked color and just blending that all out. I'm taking this e.l.f. brush and taking the color Virgin and highlighting underneath my brow and the inside corner of my eye and just really using it to blend everything together. Now I'm taking some more of that Pro Longwear Concealer under my eyes to get rid of those dark circles and as I always say, you want to take it down in a triangle shape underneath your eye to really blend your circles, the dark circles, down into the rest of your face and just highlight that area. Now I'm just taking what was left on my sponge and dabbing a little bit around the edges of my nose just to add a little bit of redness. Now I'm taking Bare Minerals Stroke of Light. This is just a liquid highlighter and putting that in the same triangle shape underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and a little on my chin. For the bronzed goddess look, you really want the light to reflect off of your face in all the right places, so I'm definitely utilizing my highlighters for this look, as if I don't always anyways. But I'm just using my Beauty Blender to blend that out. This also helps to clean up the edges around your eyeshadow. Now I'm taking this, I don't remember the name, Sigma Round Top Kabuki I believe, and my Tarte Amazonian Clay Airbrush Foundation. It's a powder foundation. There was a beam of light right in front of my camera so you can see the powder just going everywhere right here. Um, but I love this foundation especially for summer because it's a powder foundation and it's just really beautiful on the skin. It doesn't wear as long as or as well as I'd like to throughout the day, um, but I really love the finish it get, gives um, on the skin and just looks natural and looks like skin and it like I said feels light not like a liquid foundation at all but it looks like you put a liquid foundation on and it is definitely definitely full coverage I'm making sure to blend that down my neck a little bit now I'm taking the uh, pointed Sigma brush I don't remember the name all listed down below and my Jouer translucent powder um, which looks kind of gross down in the corner because the bronzer got mixed into it. But now I'm taking this angled brush from Sephora and my MAC bronzer in Refined Golden, I believe. And I'm just bronzing the face. The difference between bronzing and contouring is obviously with bronzing you're going to do a little bit more than with contouring. And it's going to be kind of just in a more generalized um shape around your face than like the pretty severe like you know carving out the features on the face this is kind of just warming up and adding color to the whole face but you're gonna go in the similar in the same areas as if you were contouring just a much softer um, blended look than a harsh contour 
Refined Golden is available in the new matte collection that's coming out called Something Aquatics. Now I'm taking my ambient lighting blush from Hourglass in Dim Infusion. I am loving this blush, especially the corally orange color for all these summery looks, and I love the way this blends with my uh, bronzer. It's just really pretty on the face. And I'm just taking my rounded brush again that I use for my foundation to just blend everything out so everything looks nice and smooth. And I'm going to take my little handy dandy eyebrow brush and just brush through my eyebrows to tame them. And I'm going to take this flat, I don't I guess it would be an eyeliner brush. I don't know, it came in a kit, but I love using it for my brows. And it's from Sephora and Max Embark Eyeshadow. And just going to shape out my brows. I've done this in every single tutorial pretty much exactly the same way probably. So I just filmed one of them so you guys didn't have to sit here forever watching me fill in my brows. And I don't reshape them or anything, I just fill in the natural shape so that they look fuller. And I forgot to do the product uh, picture for this, sorry, but this is just Maybelline's Great Lash um, from the drugstore, the Clear Mascara, and I just use it to set my brows. And I'm taking this tiny little pencil brush and the color Buck from the Naked Palette and just putting that in to define my lower lash line, and then I'm putting Half Baked, the gold color, on the inner corner to really tie the whole look together. Now I'm using Rimmel Scandalize Liner in Nude and doing my waterline to make my eyes look brighter and bigger. And then I'm using Urban Decay's uh, black coal pencil. Any black coal pencil will work. I just got this one in an Ipsy, so I've been using it. And lining the upper waterline. Now I'm using Maybelline's The Rocket Mascara to do my lower lashes. I love this mascara for my lower lashes because it has tiny little bristles to really get those tiny little lashes underneath. And just doing one coat on my lower lashes. And I almost forgot something. The whole reason I wanted to do this look, I'm using my little Sephora brush and Betty Luminizer from The Balm, which is this beautiful, beautiful bronze highlighter. It is could very easily go very bad on my fair skin, but I just use a tiny, tiny little bit because as you can see down in the corner, it is definitely a dark highlighter. Um, but it, if I use a tiny bit, it's just beautiful the way the sun catches it on and just shows the little gold highlight on my cheeks. So now I'm using uh, Maybelline's Colossal Volume Mascara and doing my upper lashes. And now I'm using Max Coral Bliss Lipstick, which I love for this look because it's got that little bit of orange in it. And just putting that on my lips like you do with lipstick. And this is NARS Gold Digger Gloss that I'm using to top off my lips to top off the Coral Bliss and fix in that. And that is the completed look. As you can see, I'm obviously very fair, so it's not really a true bronze goddess summer look, um, but it's just, you know, a lot of really pretty bronze colors and gold, gold colors um, all together. And I am loving it. So thanks so much for watching and please subscribe.